this is probably going to be the hardest thing I've ever done. It's also going to be the easiest thing, but it's going to be the hardest thing. There are going to be many times in this conversation I'm going to bring up this back up. The reason why this is going to be hard because business is hard. I am absolutely going to go against your understanding. I ask that you remember everything you know. Remember it all. I don't need you to abandon anything. But I also want you to check how successful your business is. Now, let's define, you should already be taking notes. Antonio, how do I know how successful my business is? Success in business terms, these, I'm sorry, all of these are Antonio definitions. None of these are textbook definitions. Success in business terms is how fast can you sign up the next customer comma and then speed up how fast you can sign up the next next customer okay two next if i was in scholar mode i would have said it differently one more comma and keep and multiply your money. That's success in business. Any any anybody else telling you anything else? They're using too many words, or they're t remember teachers. Like, like if you go if you go to school and t teach business, I mean take a business class. That's not a businessman or a woman. That's a teacher. It's a teacher. It's not a business person. It's a teacher. What I just gave you in layman's terms was a success in business. Here's the number one problem with that. Oh, thank, thank you, Grace. If someone wrote all of that down, okay. Whoever wrote that down, if y'all can repeat it for everybody. And we're, we're going we're gonna to do shared collective notes too. You want me to repeat it? Please. Or type it in chat. Repeat it and type, repeat it and want it. I don't care. However, it works. <laughs> okay. Success, yeah. success in business terms is how fast can you get, can you sign up the next customer? That's correct. Then speed up how fast you can sign up the next, next customer. That's correct. And then keep and multiply that number. God dog. No, that your money. Oh, not shoot, the wait a minute. Be money. Because that, more uh, customers don't cool. mean more money. Multiply. More customers do not translate into more money. Your money. And you see this a lot of time in restaurant owners. They they I'm gonna open up a new location. You what you did was you opened up new expenses. So more customers don't mean more money. It costs to get a customer and it costs to keep a customer. Of course, typically that cost to keep a customer is far less than acquiring that customer. There's different terms for this. CAT, customer acquisition cost, customer retention, LTV, lifetime value of a customer. <clears throat> we'll go through all this. <laughs> so I'm going to give you two rules now, then I'm going to tell you the point of this class. The problem with the definition I just gave you is that capitalism is not going to let that happen. No, that's not right. That's not right. That's not right. That's not right. Society is not going to let that happen for you because capitalism is not the problem. Grace, what did Jesus say about poor people? They'll always be with you. Okay. Was there a U.S. dollar when Jesus said that? No. Was, was it capitalism when Jesus said that? No. Okay, so before capitalism ever existed, and I know, and, and Dr. Ferris, you know this, we, we, we like to argue against capitalism. Capitalism is not the problem. The problem is not capitalism. Capitalism is not the problem because poor people have been with us before capitalism. 
when we were bartering trade, we were trading bananas and, and grapes. Poor people have been with us. So it's a society thing or accurately to what Dr. Ferris was talking about on the last call. It's a classism thing going on here. There's something with these classes that we, no matter what we keep doing, we keep establishing classes. And that's a bit more of the problem than, than national capitalism. <clears throat> so the number one rule of business is as follows. He who spends the most money on a customer wins. Simple as that. He who spends the most money on a customer wins. And the problem with that now, Ebony, is it shows you how unfair business is. Because if I have more money than you, then I can get more customers than you. And if I can get more customers than you, you are out of business. Especially if I'm in competition with you. I really need y'all to hear that. This is what Walmart did to every mom and pop grocery store that ever existed on the planet. Y'all don't know nothing about that. Y'all too young for that. But <gasps> I promise you, uh, Etta and John Grocery was a real thing. Who remember music stores? Who remember every Tuesday going I to do. a music store to find a new album? Yeah. Where are, those, where are those things at now? <laughs> <laughs> And it, here's it. And it, this is before this is this is before Amazon. Fye, remember you go to the mall and you put on them headphones and, and <laughs> all these eighty babies I'm talking to. <laughs> you better say it, sir. You better say it. <laughs> you know, so we, we we these things. So what this means is you have to. So Antonio, what? does the number one business what does the number one rule of business mean this would be your section in your notes this means you must figure out how to spend more money on your customers than your competitors thank you you must learn how to spend more money on your customers than your competitors i got you down to give me one minute Antonio, what does that mean? That means business is not fair. Your Jesus does not matter in business. Your, your Quran does not matter. I'm a good person does not matter. This doesn't mean be unethical. It means that in order for you to even try to be ethical, you better learn the rules on planet Earth. The number one rule of economics, and then I get the honor, is I have to want what you're selling more than I want my money. So whatever you're selling, if I have $100 in my hand, you must convince me that my $100 is far less than what you have in your hand. This is the only way we spend money. We have another word for we have another word for spending money that doesn't do that. We call it donations. This is when we're saying, ah, it doesn't matter. I'll give, I know I'm losing this money. So I'll give downwardly. We call that donations. But every human on this planet spends money. We say, if I got a dollar, you better give me back too. I'm not spending. When you go buy a house, you're going, oh, my God, this backyard can last for 30 years. That's why you buy that $225,000 house. Nobody spends money to get an equal exchange. It's not in the human psyche or the rules of money. If you, if you believe it's an equal exchange, you won't spend that money. You don't even let that person mentor you if it's an equal exchange. You doing just as bad as me, but you mentoring me for. It. All right, all right. Go ahead, Deanna. Answer, ask your question. Then we get your next next. Okay, uh, statement and question. So the statement is: When people look at my product, I need them to see how my product is a home and not a house. 
the bulk of today's class is going to teach y'all how I do that. Okay. Now for my question. Antonio. Yep. I understand what you're saying. Okay. And I understand that the number one rule of business is he who spends the most money on a customer wins. Mm -hmm. But Antonio, I don't have the money to spend on a customer. Exactly. So what do I do? That's that's exactly amen, what I'm telling you. Amen. Because okay. that's what I put in the chat. Amen. I know how to spend it, I but I gotta have the money to spend to buy it, to spend it. You know what I mean. And now we arrive at our problem. Business ain't fair. Mm. So I want you to think about what you just said, Deanna. In fact, repeat what you just said, Deanna. And then Grace, read the very first thing I said, what is success in business? Repeat I, your question. I understand that the number one rule of business is he who spends the most money on a customer wins. But Antonio, I don't have the money to spend on the customer to win. So how do I get the money to spend on the customer to win? Because that's why I went into business by myself so I could get the money. Grace, now read what I said is the definition of success. Y'all read, now listen to this definition of success through this, but I ain't got no money. Go ahead. Success in business terms is how fast can you sign up the next customer, then speed up how fast you can sign up the next, next customer and then keep and multiply your money. How you sign up customers with no money? Who doing that? Mm -hmm. It's real talk. See, see, it's my job as a motivational speaker to say, oh, Michael, just have an idea and get on social media. Post seven times a day. How many of y'all are there working for? Mm hmm <laughs> Can. <laughs> I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm, it's not, it don't work. Okay, buddy. It don't work because you need money to get to the next customer. Why do you need money to get the next customer? I'll tell you why. Someone tell me what the number one rule of economics is. I gotta want what you have more than I want my money. So if I look at you desperate and broke. No, no. And I got no. come on now. Come on. I'll oh, see. I don't want to keep it real with me. If I'm no, the, I'm not gonna buy the, from you. You're not the one I'm looking for. No, if you look like me, <laughs> or if in any shape, form, or fashion, I can this say or if in any shape, form, or fashion, I can look at you and say, Well, I got that. I'm not gonna give you my money. Because the number one rule of economics is I don't care what Curtis is selling unless Curtis can convince me what I have in my wallet is lesser than what he's selling. And if I look at Curtis and Curtis don't look like what I think he should look like, he not getting my money. If his presentation doesn't present like I think it should present like he's not getting my money. Can y'all see this terrible, vicious nasty cycle that I yes. just laid down before you real quick. Yep. Grace. And then we'll get a couple of these questions. Hands up. Go ahead. Years ago, my dad and I uh, went to a dealership that was referred to by one of my church members. Cause I was looking for a specific type of car. And so I called the gentleman, told him I wanted to come in just to look, just to see, you know, and get pricing or whatever. So we get there, we look at the car and then he tells us how much it is. And I was letting him know, hey, you know, I can do these monthly payments. And he was like, well, you know, let's see if we can get you to this monthly payment. And I was like, sir, I really can't afford that. His last words to me were, because I made them his last words, mm -hmm. ma'am, I'm really just trying to get this sale. Oh, dad, let's go. If you tell me you're just trying to get the sale, oh, that means you don't care about me. Mm -hmm. We roll. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know why you thought that made, that was going to make me say, mm -hmm. oh, okay, well then since you're trying mm -hmm. to get the sale, let me go ahead and give you my money. No. The bulk of this call is I'm going to teach y'all. You're going to go through my updated sales process. That's the first thing. And capture internet leads. I got to give you my sales process. <laughs> That's what I'm going to do for y'all. Okay. Deanna and Cedric. But Antonio, mm -hmm. I don't want to talk to people. <laughs> Get out of my head. <laughs> <laughs> she just had a successful phone call so I know this isn't her word 
Oh no, they mine. Oh no, no, no. I know, I know how to answer this. I went through five answers in my head. Yeah, I'm, they, I'm trying to get to the. I'm trying to get to the. She throwing me out of the I'm trying to get to the. Okay. Here's the problem with I don't want to talk to people. If any of you are like that, all money. Okay, stop. Have y'all ever heard of water? Anybody ever heard of water? Mm -hmm. Water. Okay. Can someone tell me where all fresh water comes from? The sky. Ice. ice the sky. Rain. Not ice cubes. I meant the Arctic. rain. Glaciers. <laughs> Arctic. Rain. All glaciers. glaciers are fresh water that came from rain that are now frozen. That's uh -huh. what I was trying to say, Jalen. <laughs> all drinkable water on this planet since jesus was walking pluto not pluto plato was walking which was before jesus and the semitic time between two rivers since the paleolithic era which is a big 90 dollar word that means middle of stone age lithic being stone paleo meaning middle since this time all water on this planet has come from the rain. Can we agree with that? Yes. Now, this is that when you know you do standardized testing. If this is to that, then that is this. Okay. Hey, hey, watch, watch this, watch this Baptist turn I'm about to give you. Uh -uh. All watch sales it. come from conversations. True. Therefore, all money come from conversations. All money come from conversations. All money come from sales. You cannot get a dollar. From this planet. If you can't talk. I'm sorry. If you cannot talk. That's a great way to say it. That's not what I was going to say. But there you go. I like the way you said it. You okay. cannot. Warren Buffett will tell you right now. The best communication. The best skill you can get is communication. You have to talk. Now. Does that mean that Dr. Ferris needs to jump on every single internet call and go, hey, I see you just discovered me. No, this is why we have sales funnels that talk for us. This is why we use technology. You get it? But you still got to talk and I'm going to teach you how to do that today too. Okay. Again, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Okay. No, 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 no. You ask your question. We get to say it. No, you good. Okay. So me. Hold on real quick. This is how this class is going to go for the next. Did I say, how long is this? Is this five. No, this ain't 20 weeks. I would have did this for 20 weeks. Oh, five, five, six five, weeks, five, right? I, think I, thought, I thought it was six, six weeks. Okay. Uh, I probably said five, but since Dr. Ferris said six, and I like him, it's six now. <laughs> Y'all get an extra week. <laughs> Y'all get an extra week. All right, then. 12. Is this really a 12 week? It's 12 weeks. Oh, I love y'all. Oh, y'all really owe me money if you got your camera off in this joint, then. God dog it. You're going to be rich by the uh -huh. end of this. We're going to be uh -huh. poor. <laughs> <laughs> For real. Or not. No, hopefully not. Right. <laughs> yeah, hopefully not. For sure. This is why we use technology to have conversations. This is why people. Not embracing the AI movement are going to be poor. The pandemic did two things. It created the pandemic created two types of people, billionaires and spectators. Those are my two categories. There's no other category. So I'm a spectator? Yes. I'm yes. a billionaire. <laughs> <laughs> what a great response. <laughs> you know, he said no millionaires. And you write about that. Millionaires and new middle class. In 10 years, if you're not a millionaire, you're not going to be making anything. You're not even going to be able to afford to live. I'm sorry. It's just, this, this isn't me. This is just, you got to remember that we devalue the dollar every day. They, because the more I'm winning and the more I see Dr. Fair is trying to win, is the more I want to make it harder for him to win. Therefore, it makes it easier for me to stay in my position. This is why I got you reading four day laws of power, Dion. This is that conversation we were talking about earlier, right? You have to account. It's not enough to account for your spiritual laws. You got to remember when you apply those spiritual laws, Grace, you got to come here on earth. 
here's the problem with that. And I, I know I know you want to be Neo and unplug from the Matrix, but remember, every time Neo unplugged from the Matrix, he was poor. If you watch the Matrix, he unplugged and was poor eating oatmeal. He mm -hmm. was only wealthy in the Matrix. That's the realest thing I said in 2024. I promise you that's the You say that <laughs> okay, every time Curtis. we have one of these calls, you'll be like, that's the realest thing I said. That's real. It makes that you not want to unplug. <laughs> <laughs> see so okay we'll talk about that later unplug plug the all wealth comes from the matrix y'all trying to unplug from it but ain't no money when you unplug from it so the goal is to unplug think for yourself and then get so much money in the matrix you never have to worry about money again that's the goal that's the goal okay go ahead Cedric Yes, we, we need to take the blue pill for sure. <laughs> Go ahead, Cedric. I can't hear. Oh, uh, no, you, 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 got, you, you got yourself muted. Sorry, guys. So you I know. wanted to give an example of when you said, you know, uh, about the customers. So I don't know. I, I think someone said earlier, if you look like me, I don't want to buy from you. I don't want to purchase from you, right? Mm -hmm. So if... Have you ever been to a barbershop? And as a guy, I go to the barbershop. And if you ever paid attention to one of the best, some of the best barbershops, their hair is never cut. But right. word of mouth, somebody, if you see somebody on the street and they have a nice line, you, you're going to say, who cut right. you up, guy? And he's going to direct you to his barber. You right. walk in, you're going to see. Now, when you say no money makes money, right? That that person, that word of mouth, he just advocated for yep. his barber to get the next customer, the next, yep. next customer. Yep. And even though he doesn't look like you, you walk out with a haircut that makes you feel better. And remember what you just said, you have to care more about yourself. I mean, care less about yourself than, and care more about your customers. That's a barber who cares less about if I get up in the morning, I just need to make it there on time to make sure all my customers look like, new money so when they go out to make money i'll be okay after the fact so it's like when this you're doing a great that, example so when you're doing things like that you have to think keep keep that mind that like i, I i've seen plenty of barbers and i'm like man they barbers boy they don't take care of themselves but it's a lot of people they they cut hair all day i'm in atlanta now and from indiana to atlanta and i promise you every barber down here is a celebrity barber my barber does house calls at three hundred and fifty dollars on house call. Real talk. And so, and 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 people are gonna pay. So, mm -hmm. but he makes sure when you step out your house, you're gonna look good. Right. So no, but he's advocate. Other people advocate for him, so you don't have to talk. But he looks nothing like me. Mm -hmm. But he makes money. Mm -hmm. You know, so you have to keep that in 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 in, in perspective. That you, sometimes you, you absolutely do, and yeah. it seems like a paradox. So let's yep. let's back up a little bit and let's 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 see if we can hash this paradox out. And Lindsay, you're more than welcome to have your camera off. You're more than welcome to have your camera off. It's up to you, but you're more than okay. Let me... So let's let's hash out this paradox. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, real quick, then. I want to I want to make sure everybody can walk with me. It seems like he's right, and he is, but you're not looking at me as a barber shop. I mean, as the barber with my hair not done. That's not what you're looking at. Exactly. You're looking at my barber shop. You, you're looking at my... There's a reason why we put these big plush chairs. There's a reason why when you ladies go get your nails done, they give you free mimosas. You, We, one of the most beautiful, most comfortable places in the world is a barber shop. That's a fact. I wouldn't know. I haven't been. In. Oh, that's because you. Yeah, it's cause you, you <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, you, you ain't you ain't got a beard. You understand? So that's a little. Look, this is a bearded conversation. <laughs> but this is why our barbershops look like this. You, you understand? This is now. Now watch this here though. I bet I can't charge three hundred and fifty dollars for a haircut when I don't have a barbershop. Oh no. If I know if I don't have my own brick and mortar, 
No way in the world I could charge. And if you say, well, I know somebody who do, that's one person. So this is like, I love when people go, I know somebody who do, that's like, that's like for the, for you Christians, the, the thief on the cross, you know, I'm not sure if you want to base your theology, Dr. Ferris, on that last minute of salvation to where you go, yeah, 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 yeah. Bring me in too, Lord. Because I don't know if you're going to know that last moment. <laughs> you know, I don't right. know if you're going to know that last moment, right? So, so you may not want to base your entire soteria, uh, my bad, uh, salvation salvational I don't, even, I don't even know how to say soteriology of labor terms <laughs> don't thank you don't, for trying yeah, I, I know <laughs> thank you for trying <laughs> I tried <laughs> I tried soteriology means study of salvation so don't base your ideas of salvation on this one little outlier thing so yes, you may know someone who could charge two hundred fifty dollars because they cold. But if you out here thinking that being the best means you're gonna get paid the best, you crazy. Crazy, yeah. <laughs> you crazy. No, no, no. Being seen. Right. Everybody, write this down. Being seen as excellent. is what gets you paid the best not being the best and you better get that in your spirits right now it does not say the market rewards the best it says market the market rewards excellence and excellence is a perception issue this is why we post this is why we <clears throat> this is why a salesperson selling private jets pulls up in a Bentley and not a 1989 Toyota. I don't even know what they make, but whatever Toyotas yeah. make. I, I've never driven a Toyota Camry. in my life. Camry. A Toyota Camry. Camry. <laughs> there you go, right? This is why. W with the with the beat up. Now, of course, can that to we all know Toyotas, Nissan, and Hondas going to pass you up on the highway and be 20 years old. We all know that. Every time. Every time. We all know that. This your cousin right now driving a Nissan Maxima. Don't even take they ain't changed the oil since the pandemic and it still work. So we know we know that this is going to work but you're not seen mm -hmm. as excellent. And as long as Lindsay is not seen as excellent, the market would never pay her excellently. So it is vital that every last one of you, you need you need to stop being so saved about money, whatever you think saved is, however that relates to your 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 frame of reference. I need you to be Grant Cardone ish, Antonio ish about money. There's rules, and you got to be tough about these rules, and. And 100% of the time, money follows attention. Antonio. Yes, ma'am. What if you don't have a business? Fair enough. In order for me to fully ask you a question, I need to, I need to know your tell us. I need to know what you're in, which, what do you, what do you strive? For? What's your end goal? You don't have a business, but. But I hope to one day have a cupcake business. That's where I want to start off. Okay, so let's do it this way. So let's let's I mean answer let me answer that one plus you you as a sales team member. I'm gonna answer both. I don't have a business, but I'm a sales team person. That means when you this means that when Ebony talks, something about her vote. So how many you understand that 90% of communication is nonverbal? So all these nonverbal cues needs to prove she's excellent. And when I push back at her, which all sales call would happen. If she gets rattled, she's not excellent. She can't get my money. Facts. <laughs> if she, right? Remember, it's, we're not pushing back, you know, because we're rude. We're pushing back because even if we don't understand this, Nancy, we're pushing back because we're trying to see if you the leader I'm looking for. Uh-huh. 
This is why we pushing back. And as soon as she get flustered, oh, well, you know what? Thank you so much. You, we've all seen this. Anyone you join a network marketing company, we've all seen somebody go, man, why you ain't signed up with me? I came to you first. Because you got rattled and they found the leader and heard the presentation differently from that person. There's a, a huge chunk of making money in psychology. A huge chunk. So let's back up real quick before I go too far. Some of you are overwhelmed. That's okay. You're going to be overwhelmed for the next 12 weeks. There's no doubt about it. And then my and as a teacher, my job is to keep you overwhelmed. My job is to keep you... My job is to keep you completely confused in the fog and make you fight your way out of it and then towards the end of the class and then when you be thinking you're going okay i get it now as soon as you get it next week i give you something else you don't get but that's my job because if you get it then i ain't teaching well i'm supposed to say stuff 10 years ahead of you so you, the best teachers are saying things that make you go, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me ask this question. I, I ain't get that. That's that's good teaching. It's not good teaching when you understand it. It's good teaching when you understand it after you struggled trying to understand it. That's good teaching. Okay. Anyway. So understanding, let's let's just recap real quick. For all the you, I got you, Curtis. For all the you who are overwhelmed, you're supposed to be. Relax. But remember. Being overwhelmed is messing with your money. So don't do that, okay? <clears throat> don't do that. Number two, let's say what we've actually discussed. Yeah, so it's it's, tw it's 12 weeks now. It's 12 weeks. She, she, she did, she, it, it was, I forgot it was. What we actually discussed is those three rules or number one rule economics if I say, hey, y'all, y'all want to buy this cell phone? Y'all going to be like, oh, buy the damn cell phone? Mm, buy the stupid cell phone? But if I, okay, he, he, okay, he wants to buy my cell phone because he knows there's a few billionaires up in here. It's a whole bunch of millionaires up in here. I mean, get that. <laughs> so, okay. you, you get access to all my notes, which currently is, I don't even know how I many. It's 3,981 of Antonio's notes and I only write notes for business. I don't write nothing else for nothing. This is notes for me building my companies. So you get, you get access to all that stuff. Now this cell phone starting to look real attractive, ain't it? Then it's got 396 books on it that got me here. And, uh, who, and all sorts of stuff. Okay. Also all sorts of stuff. So now the cell phone looks a lot better. So I have to make what you're selling make it less than your money. But we, we're we not taught this, though. This is why this is difficult, which is why, so let's go back to the overwhelmed people. It's not that you are not getting it. It's just that this is the first time you're using your ears to hear this information. It's kind of like the Matrix again. Neo says, well, why do my eyes hurt? And Morpheus says, because you never used them. The information I'm telling you is the first time that you've ever heard this before especially in this way okay <laughs> especially in this way all right go ahead curtis oh okay so man your voice is amazing bro i, I forgot think, <laughs> <laughs> i think that um what you're saying i'm able to process um, yeah, sure. and and I, and I think the way that you're saying it are uh, you're breaking it down in a way that i think most of us can process it right i think my biggest question right yeah. it is although i understand what you're saying right. how to apply it to my situation is the biggest advantage that i'm looking for because yep. i know a lot of the stuff that you're talking about or i'm familiar with it uh, right. how you're right. presenting it i get you is, is is different but how in my space and in, in, in my niche and what I'm attempting to do, how I utilize every bit of it and mm -hmm. squeeze it all the way out Fair enough. so I can make sure, you know, that I got it, how to use it for me is what I'm looking for. Fair enough. No. So if y'all in, in this, 
I told you one hour, this is going to be two hours just because I forgot to tell you. In about 15 to 20 minutes, I'm going to be done. And then the rest is going to be all Q&A based on everything we said and all those struggles that you got right there. You will leave here. So, so what I've done is I've taken, so each week, it's it's a master class. Each, each week is a master class. Now, if you miss one, you're going to be screwed because they build on top of each other. They build on top of each other. But I'm not telling you not to miss. I'm just telling you watch the replay. But just know that they stack on top of each other, okay? Curtis, let me first frame y'all thinking real quick. Let me let me switch y'all thinking. So what I would like for you all to do is I would like for you to write down, I need to figure out how to, no, 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 no. And we're going to go very fast, okay? We're going to go very fast. And then I'll, I'll, I'm gonna, we're gonna go very fast. And I'm gonna, and I'm gonna sum up what I said. Then I'm gonna go to Deanna's question. Now you can leave your hand up, Dan. Go to Deanna's question. But it's gonna, I'm go, it's gonna be too fast, you know. Okay, it, it is, it is gonna be too fast. So now I'm gonna be finishing 45 minutes instead of 30. Okay, 45 instead of 30. Because I'm Curtis just blessed y'all. You cannot earn money as an employee. Write that down. You can do all your business all you want to, but if you're in your business like an employee, you ain't going to make no money. <clears throat> you know what employees don't do? Give up control. See, one of the things Dr. Ferris is going to do for this company is going to be great. But the only way he's going to be able to be successful at it is if I give up control and let him do it. Jalen is control of all the media. If I don't, Noella is getting on my butt for TikToks that I owe her, but I forgot it was my son's birthday yesterday. If I don't give up, look, she like, you, you show sure right, but it's my son's birthday. I forgot. If you don't, if I don't give up control, then these geniuses can't run the company. Employees need to have control because that's the only way they get credit. And it's the only way that they have job security. So if you want to be, I just use Curtis as an example of, in a different business. So you want to be Curtis's pancakes, as long as his name is on the building, six figures is all he's getting. Because he wants to be known as Curtis's pancakes. The moment he want to, ah, Noella gets it. The moment he starts scaling, can't be Curtis's pancakes no more. Because if you want to be known as the cook, as the set, all right, as long as you're doing everything, you can only scale so far. You only scale so far. Remember, it's Amazon, not Jeff Bezos. All right, so then can I ask a question? I sure can. Um, so I'm going to be selfish because you always tell to you be selfish. Please, and I'm encourage all y'all to be selfish. Um, so basically what I got going on now, I love it and it's gotten me to where I am, but I also know that it's not going to get me to where I'm trying to go. And so I want to pivot and okay. e either I want multiple businesses so I can do different things and have it under okay. like a holding company. Okay. Is that the way I should do it? I guess. I don't know. As long as you take care of your primary source of income first. <clears throat> Because in, well, he's asking a good question. I want to have multiple streams of income. I want to have multiple businesses. But here's the problem, though, Ina. If I don't respect you in one of them, you can't get me to buy these other ones. The reason why you have Apple headphones is because you like the Apple computer. Or you like the Apple phone. <clears throat> you have to dominate one product first before you spread out. There's a great there's a great book on this. It's called um, the way Dr. Ferris knows theology books, I know business books. It's a great book on this. It's called New Brand World by Scott Bedbury. He is the guy responsible for the Just Do It campaign and responsible for taking uh it, responsible for taking Nike from the number 3 co company, number 3 shoe company in America to number 1 company in the world. And then at the height of that he went over to Starbucks and made Starbucks what it is today. 
in that he made up a term called brand with brand with like bandwidth brand with and your business and your customers can only expand to the width of your brand so until Jalen builds a brand with a lot of width he should not under any circumstances tell his customers he has multiple businesses okay so then with that being said as of right now um i've i've i can't remember i think you said it but basically i'm thinking about transitioning most of my pages to personal pages and i just remember hearing that if they'll follow me anywhere, they'll follow any business. So don't be about the business, be about me and I'm the brand. That's fair because since you're the brand, you can put multiple businesses in there. Think about it. The, the sports show we just started, I didn't start a sports show YouTube like y'all would have did. It's a playlist on my channel. I'm not known for sports. So why on earth would I go out here and start a sports company? The, my brand can handle creating a sports show. It cannot handle creating a sports company. Mm. You need to know what your brand can handle. And that was not, that was real. It wasn't the real thing I said in 2024, but that was real. I know what it, right now the sports show is the best performing two videos on my YouTube page. Because it's a playlist. It's just another side of Antonio is how my audience is seeing it. They don't see that I'm trying to start something. Yeah. Right? They just see something else. Y'all get me? All right. Now, back to him. Notice what I said to Jalen, though. I said, don't tell. He's under no circumstances should he tell his customers he started another business. I didn't say he shouldn't start them. They should be in his R&D department research and development you, 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 you get it he should go ahead and start them so by the time it's time for him to release them he got everything done he shouldn't wait 10 years to start them because iphone gave you the iphone one then gave you the two then gave you the the the, the, the three is when mm messages first start happening I think it was a four, wasn't it? I think it was the four. I think you're right. I, th I think you're right. It was, I think a, it four. was a four. We had, yeah, yeah, we I remember it. I was thirsty. I couldn't get that one. I had the right. Samsung Glide. Yeah, it was the it. four. You're so right. It was the four. You couldn't even send multimedia messages. You had to, they, they went to the email. And and, and, and then that's why iMessages came out with four too. iMessages came out with four as well. That was my first iPhone, iPhone four. And then they gave you the four S. And they gave you the five and the five S. Microsoft gave you Windows and then Windows 96 and then 97 and 90, 99, no, 98, skip 99. And they gave you XP. Everybody loved XP. We hated when they changed you know, XP home, XP work. You know, uh, if Apple or Microsoft waited to get it perfect to sell it, they'd be broke. They made trillions of dollars with versions that were not perfect. That's a word for somebody. Somebody need to hear that. All right. I can't remember. You, you'll probably mm -hmm. remember. What's the movie with, I think it was Keenan. Was it Keenan Adam Wayne? Somebody was like, message. <laughs> yeah, that was uh, <laughs> uh, how to drink your juice. Uh, don't be a, don't be a menace. Don't be a menace. Don't, don't be a menace. Be a menace. Don't don't be a menace. Be your, your gene in the hood. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Also, I want you to understand your price points real quick. If you have a low price point, you're going to have a high energy output. That means if you have a low price point, it's going to take you a lot of energy to get to whatever dollar amount Dr. Ferris is trying to get to. Hold on. Um, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Mm hold on. -hmm. I hold forgot on. to come back to your question, too. Oh. Okay. Uh, What did you say? If you have a... If you have a low price point, you're going to have a high energy output. Got you. Nothing, nothing wrong with that. Like, please know that whoever owns Chiquita Bananas is making a killing. 
with a with a mate. Thirty cent a banana or something. Mm-hmm. Something. But they also sell seven million bananas an hour. <laughs> so, <laughs> you got to be careful. Which brings me to my next point. Never, ever, ever lower your prices. Yep, I'm already messing up. Mm-hmm. All right, so Antonio, since you since you said that, how mm-hmm. often should we raise the prices? And as often as you can, the same way they do the sup. As oft as you can, do this in remembrance of me. I'm done with you, Antonio. I ain't, I ain't with you for all of that. Yeah. Okay. All right. As as often as you meet, you should be raising your prices. I'm such a capitalist. <laughs> that was such a capitalistic answer, Grace. Oh my God, they're gonna they're gonna cancel me. Okay. Okay. So, ooh. hold on, hold on, Rick. Let me clear it up. If ten percent of your people are not, if ten percent of your audience are not complaining about their prices, your prices are too low. You need at least 10% of people complaining about your prices. Repeat one more time. If 10% of people are complaining about your prices, your prices are just about right. You can get up to 20%. When more, more than more people complain, your price is probably too high or your value is too low. If nobody's complaining about your price, you're absolutely wrong. Let me tell you why this is important. Which customers do you want, Dr. Ferris? You want the the the, the lady at Walmart arguing over the part cheesy box that had a crack in it and she's asking for a discount? No. Or do you want no. or do you want Robbie Kiyosaki's audience paying two hundred dollars for for a boy game? Yes. <laughs> Choose ye this day. Right? <laughs> it's your price point is going to determine your audience. Who do you want? Watch yourself. My cheesy okay. boy was five dollars and forty three cents. She over here asking for a fifty percent discount. You've been saying that to me for years. I just got it today. You just got it. Yeah. The board, the board game cost Dr. Ferris the same amount of money. He's either making two hundred dollars a board or a dollar a board. It's up to him. Dollar a board, high energy output. Two hundred dollars a board, low energy output. Never, never compete with prices. Let me tell you why you never compete with prices. Because you don't have the distribution of the people who have low prices. The reason why you never lower your price. Now, if you become like Walmart, if you can get you Walmarts and everywhere, if you can get a store, you know how many McDonald's got? We all say the same thing. I use the rest of you. Oh, well, let's just, let's just let's keep going to we see McDonald's. It's a clean bathroom right there. Who knows what I'm talking about? Let's keep, well, this is the American example. I know what I'm talking about. Let's keep driving to, you know, if you keep driving, you're going to run Usually into Usually within McDonald's. 15 minutes of each other. You're going to run into a McDonald's. Okay. That's and called, <laughs> and, and a Walmart. That's called distribution. The reason why this is important, Ina, is because if you lower your prices and don't have their distribution, you're going to be out of business within a year. Don't lower your prices. Don't lower your prices. You increase the value, but I, that's a different conversation I got to have with you. Go ahead. Go ahead, Dan. Okay, so you answered my first question through Jalen's question when he when he asked earlier okay. about the multiple businesses. Okay. So my second question is, would so if I do a course, okay. could I compete? With others because I have no, a that, stop, stop. You made my ears hurt. You made my ears hurt. No, well, not compete, but you I like, I just I know, but let me just let me say it for them then. Okay. Let me say it for them. If you're gonna come from anything ATS and you think competing is good, shame on you. I am not your mentor. Go find Dave Ramsey. Dave Ramsey will tell you to compete. Dave Ramsey is gonna tell you to be debt free. I am not the debt-free guy. I'm going to tell Dr. Ferris he needs $5 billion of debt and his customers need to pay for everything of that debt. I'm the different mentor. I am the massive income guy. I'm not the be debt-free because you can't even get money from the Federal Reserve without creating a debt. 
that's a that's a much complex conversation. But here's the point though. Don't be Deanna, when you create your course, be a monopoly. May I teach y'all how to be a monopoly? Uh, thank you. I'm gonna go All ahead right. and mute now. Okay, then. So I need to get yes, you need to get more debt, but you don't need to pay for it. You don't need to pay for it. Yeah. So if he buys an apartment complex and the apartment complex costs 14.7 million, he's now got 14.7 million of debt. To someone with an employee middle class mindset, they're gonna die under that debt. Dr. Ferris is like, man, that's 353 people paying my debt. I don't care. Watch it. That's what? it. Two years from now, as his net worth goes up and his rents go up, he's gonna take the equity, the difference between an apartment complex, borrow it, and go buy another one. He doesn't, he could be up to debt to his eyeballs. He's still making $220 a door every month after expenses. It's not debt if you ain't paying for it. <laughs> Another bar. <laughs> that sounds like it ain't tricky if you got it, but I know that's not it. <laughs> but you understand what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. So you say you got rid of debt. No, you mostly. did, Grace. <laughs> if you get rid of, so he since he got rid of his debt mostly, he he got about the bar bar and power. You can remember, the banks don't give you money because you have money. The banks give you money because you manage your debt. That's what the banks are doing. They're judging you by how well you manage debt. That's a credit score, though. That's exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I guess if you lose those paying the debt, you're in trouble. Oh, for sure. But that's that, that's another good point. That's why we buy properties that's hard to get. Because if it's easy to get, it's easy to lose. This is why we do that, right? This is why we buy cash flowing properties. This is why I don't do single family homes. But anyway, but yeah, what, what was it? What was it? What did you do that? Oh, I said, let me. Oh, let me teach you how to be a monopoly. Yep. Number one, it's only a two step process, really. Number one, you need to find a new category. This is a bit of an explanation, Curtis. We're now in your selfishness now, okay? But there's only three categories, Diana. You've helped me teach this many years before. What are the three categories? Health, wealth, and relationships. Please write those three categories down. They're the only thing that exists in business. There's nothing else. Health, wealth, and relationships. So, Diana, if you're a theologian, what category are you in? You could be in either one, but it depends on what you're doing. If you're a theologian who counsels couples and you're in relationship. If you're a theologian that teaches on the biblical, the biblical rules of um, like eating, you're in health. If you are a theologian that teaches on the biblical rules of money, then you are in wealth. Did y'all see that? So you, so you don't go, but I'm a Christian. You're still in one of these categories. But I'm from Belgium and it's boring. That's an inside joke for, for you know, <laughs> just watch the video. Health, wealth, relationships. Every other category is called a subcategory. No, this is very important. The reason why y'all can't get customers is because you're in a wealth category and the words that you use to sell are relationship language. Knowing your category makes you know how to write your sales copy. See, you're not missing customers because you are a bad leader. You're missing customers because ain't nobody teaching you what I'm teaching you, especially not for free. Mm -hmm. <laughs> not for, we've already exceeded a couple of thousand dollars. Man, this, this, this $10,000 was worth it. We've already exceeded that. And I'm still not, I'm still not, I'm still, I'm still not down. So now that you know your category, you need to invent a new category. So her course better be a new subcategory. Because, and here's your rule if you can't be first to a category, you must invent a category to be first in. That's why Density Six is experiencing success, because we invented a new category. Was that number two? They, they, yes, one and two. Yes, that was number two. 
if you can't be first to a category, you need to invent a new category and be first in that one. And right now, that's the most important thing I have said on this call so far. So Curtis, you need to go, you're going to have to redefine your business. You're going to have to, but he can do it simply. The, the easiest he could do it. He could do it. In th he could do it in thirty minutes by simply switching his category. So he don't have to rebrand. Because think about it, whatever his business is at, it's a bunch of competition now. I said, stop, you're making my ears hurt. As soon as she said com competition, my ears start bleeding. This ain't about being a competition. It's about being a monopoly. Why? Because, and this is in the 22 immutable laws of marketing, whatever. In the psychology of sales, the customer can only hold two brands. The customer's mind, write this down. Lindsay's customer's mind can only hold two brands. And I'll prove it to you. I'll prove it to you. The customer's mind can only hold two brands. God. Can somebody give me the second one, please? Thank him. Ah, huh. interesting how that was predictably what was going to be answered. Coke. Pepsi. Apple. Orange. Apple phone. Samsung. You get it? Same energy. Apple orange was correct. Apple phone, Samsung, Android, same energy. But here's the deal. Here's the problem with Samsung. The problem with Samsung is you don't think of Samsung. You think of Android. Right. That's why Samsung is continuously up and down, up and down, up and down. And here's the deal, Dr. Ferris, Samsung compete with price. So what happens? All in Asia Pacific, that's pretty much everything on the right side of the globe, after Africa or in, in, in that area, okay? Everything on the right side of the globe. What they do? They come up with cheaper phones with the same features. So now you can't even get a hold in the market. <laughs> this is why we don't compete with price. I promise y'all, this is... Like we're, we're, we're having a very good class right now. This is why we don't compete with price. This is why we don't comp compete with price. Now, the last thing I need to tell y'all, did I answer your question now? You become a monopoly by creating a new category of being the first to one. Dr. Ferris just happens to be, and I'm, I'm helping him out with this. He's going to be first to this AI theology. We actually came up with it. This this Nathan Appleness thing. We don't know what to call it yet, but <laughs> whatever, right? We're working on it. Because he's first. Imagine having a world-renowned theologian head of a tech company. Mm. That's first. It ain't been done yet. So he becomes the standard. Why is this important? Because when somebody else do it, oh, you try to be like Dr. Ferris, and that's exactly what you want your audience to say. Mm. That's exactly mm. what you want them to say. Oh, you trying to be like Curtis and them. That's exactly. That means you are now the standard. So when they think of that product, they think of you. And when they, and when, if I think of you first, you get my money first. Go ahead, Dion. Just an idea. Mm -hmm. Popped in my head when you okay. said Nathan, and then Dr. Ferris said, maybe uh, maybe my new name should be Nathan. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> what if That's a biblical reference, y'all. Very specific biblical reference, too. <laughs> Go ahead. In the, in the United Kingdom. What if you created a, a theological app that's called Nathan's World and your avatar is Nathan and Nathan guides you to every aspect. So when you hop into one and, and when you hear any audio, it's Nathan's voice. It's Nathan's world, but it's Nathan's theological world. So write this down. You, that's a good idea. Never would have thought about it. Let me Antonio Smith that idea. Take that now just for the church. <clears throat> Create church specific emojis for all 999,000 denominations for God's sakes. Mm -hmm. So if you type in praise, you get like 15 options. Pentecostal praise, Baptist praise. You, you get like you get the, you, you, okay, you understand? Or if you type in laugh, 
Then you get the preacher laugh, the choir laugh, you know, all that stuff like that, right? Then this AI app walks you through. It's an AI psychologist, so to speak, that walks you through the ethical implications of the fear that you have of the future of AI and how it applies to your church and your denomination. And each individual person can talk to the, that app in fear and have real conversations about how they can take their 37 member church and benefit from AI without losing their soul. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hopefully somebody wrote that. Idea, so let's make good it good <laughs> idea. Let's tell you, you like to do this affair. I said, let's make it now. That was her idea. I just had Tony Smith did. <laughs> that's, 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 that's what I get to do. Okay, go ahead, Curtis. Good idea, okay. Diana. Okay, so if it's never been done. That's right. Okay, you're talking. Or we're, or we're creating an avenue on mm -hmm. something that's successful, that's been done, but it's my niche. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let me stop. Let me stop right there. Yeah, I, I left a hole in my argument by accident. Thank you so much for saying that because you pointed it out by accident. I don't want none of y'all to do stuff that has never been done. Let me let me let me back that up. It was, excuse me. I want you to do things that have never been done, but you need to do it with an audience that exists. Right. I don't want anybody here creating a new audience. You're gonna fail. And don't say I taught you that. When I tell you create a new category, I didn't say create a new audience. I said create a new category. That's right. And the best way to understand this is Netflix. Oh, it's a bunch of people that don't, don't like these late fees. Well, let's 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 get rid of late fees. Well, that's not good enough. Let's find people who don't even want to leave their house and get rid of late fees. Remember, Blockbuster had a chance to buy Netflix for five million dollars. What a colossal mistake that was. Dummies. Right. Dang, they did. What the hell? I have venturers pay for it. Yes, we should. I like that idea. So you're right. So do not create a new audience, please. I want you to create, I want you, what I want you to do is get old things and do them new ways right. in a different category. Thank you so much for that, Curtis. Dad, thank you so much. Yeah. Yeah, yes, yeah, that was no, that was spot okay. on. That was yeah, yeah. No, I, I was about to have people out here blind and blind and crazy. Do, say that again. Create. You do old things. It's called disruptive technology. You do old things a new way in an emerging market. Clayton right. Christensen in 1997 wrote a book. Harvard business professor wrote a book called Innovators Dilemma. And he the one. He's the one who coined disruptive company. He coined that phrase. So I'm in a really competitive um, realm with uh, me. All the, more, com all the more reason why you need yeah. to create a new category. Yes. You feel me? All right. Uh, <laughs> did, um, did y'all hear that? Since he knows his rim is competitive, he should not be there because he who spends most money on a customer wins. Right. He needs to be spending the most money in a, comp in a category where it's only him. So what I'm saying is, I'm in this competitive realm, but I have my niche that's something totally different than nobody's saying. Now, I'm going to say it to you because you probably know, you know, sports. I'm teaching people how to be in the zone. I ain't never heard a coach say that. But I can actually actively teach you what the feeling is like on how to be in the zone. Fair enough. And then coach you up on doing it over and over and over that's so that good. now you have it yourself but that's what i need to be, be able to market or or, or kind of brand in a sense but well, there's a great book i don't know in the 80s i forget who wrote it but the art of being in his own it's a great book yep. so what what i would do is i well i don't want to tell you what i would do let me just give you <laughs> unless y'all ask me what what i would do but i, I you know I, I like i like to keep y'all free will where it's at all right, so my next is gonna it's gonna be Amir, Diana, then Cedric. Remind me, remind me of that order. Amir, Diana, and Cedric. What he needs to do 
is take this zone and create the Curtis method for it or something cool. Uh, a, a simple, well, it's, it's not mnemonic device. That's the wrong Greek word. It's something monic though. I forget what it's called. It's when you have an acronym that means something. It's not mnemonic because that's that's wind. Uh, a mnemonic? Mnemonic. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> mnemonic device. Not, not Mnemonic has a P in front of it. Anyway, there's two different Greek words, y'all. The mnemonic device here is when you say revolution and it means something like revolution. You get it? It means something. He needs to, he needs to create a mnemonic device for the zone that fits his teachings and then teach that. Because what are we going to remember? I have a dream. You don't remember the speech. You remember the theme. You don't remember. <clears throat> you don't remember that. Uh, that governor in Georgia. Sweltering with interpositions and nullifications. You don't remember that. You remember I have a dream. You remember the theme. Remember, you got to communicate in a manner in which I remember you. So if he's first to this category, which is his, his mnemonic device, so he's teaching the zone by these four steps. That's first. Now that's marketable. Now that's a book. Now that's programs. That's bracelets. That's wristwatches. That's merch. That's youth. That's adults. You, you see what just happened? Yeah. That fast, that fast. You see what just happened? Now, okay, you, you got you got me, Curtis. That's what I would do. One hundred percent. Oh, okay. No, I got it. I, okay. I, I, yeah. I, yeah. No, literally, I got yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. you got it. You so like, already thought about, about my, my mnemonic yeah. device. Yeah, yeah, I would do that. Is this advanced? You know what I mean? It's, there it is. It's do, advanced. Do, do you do a TED talk on your mnemonic device? Now you got a whole movement. Yeah, well, I'm getting ready to come to Houston with it. I see what I'm saying. See? Yeah. No. I, I believe I've been doing it. You hear me? But yeah. again, I I'm listening for the things that I need to do now. Because you're still in the sports I, coaching, right? Yes. Okay. 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 I got you. Yeah. I'm gonna so weave to, it in. Yeah. 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 I'm gonna weave it in after Cedric. I got you. I got you. I'm gonna weave it in after Cedric. I'm gonna weave it in. I think I got all your businesses down. We'll, we'll, we'll see. Amir just asked me, "How do I apply this to my clothing line?" It's the same process, Dr. Ferris, that I brought up about the barbershop. If I have a clothing line, but I don't have a store, I don't have no clothing line. Now, I don't know if Amir have a store. Amir, hit me up and tell me if you got a store. If you do not have a store, that's your first step. And I'm going to give you a good example of this. We all know that person that cooked meals better than the restaurant. But since they cooking them out their kitchen with the little styrofoam place and stuff, they're never going to be successful. As a matter of fact, they, they have more chance of getting sued in court because that's actually illegal. Yes, you got the like there's a whole FDA out there and each county has, <laughs> you know, you got to have licenses to even store food and serve it. <laughs> like, uh, this is this is so bad. It's on local state and federal this is the one time local state and federal agree <laughs> bipartisan agreement okay so you ain't getting past this here okay you're not getting past this here so when you think about these people that's selling food they're never going to be able to charge 45 dollars for a plate because they don't have a restaurant it's the same problem I ended up with in 2016, 2017. I was out here doing great big things in business, but since I didn't have a mentor that people can look at, nobody took me seriously. They needed to see Les Brown. They needed to see Joel Osteen to take me seriously because since I couldn't have a brick and mortar business, I was just an online guru with a black face. That's like an extra black mark. Right? <laughs> Think about it. So they needed to see all these other people that I know now. You, you get me? All right. So if he doesn't have a, a store, you don't have a clothing line. So don't call it that. I wouldn't call it a clothing line. That's not what I do. I would start a movement, buy my clothes, so I can 
establish my clothing line brand. Y'all make this too difficult. Because if you want, if you want an audience, be real with them. The, the, the reason why people follow me is because you know you get what you get. You you get what you get. I'm not, there's no, I've, I've got different, I've got different tonations or, or gradations of me. You know, my 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 conversation with Dr. Ferris, since that was his platform, was far more. Man, that's a good one. That, yeah, that's good. That, yeah. It's my platform now. And so I'm I'm too big. <laughs> too, too big. There's, 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 there's proper places. There's, there's proper places to do proper things. It wasn't my job to be big while he was talking. It was my job to just feed him information and make him people fall in love with him. So if you don't have a clothing store, don't try to go get one. Tell your people, watch my journey building my clothing store and they will support it. If you tell them, look how big I am, and they show up and see you selling clothes out your trunk, then number one rule of economics comes into play, doesn't it? I have to want your money, want what you're spending more than I want my money, right? And 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 I'm not for the buy this out there. I don't mind buying from you at the back of your trunk, but that's a donation. And who out here is building profitable business out of donations? Churches have a hard time doing it. As a matter of fact, I could even argue it, it would be rude. Well, it actually wouldn't be rude. It would be, it would be anti-Catholic, and you can say. But I can argue even the Catholic Church and who has the largest bank on the planet. They didn't build their empire. I don't say empire, excuse me. They didn't build the Vatican off of donations. It was taxes. It was it was penis. Do penis. Like it was. I'm 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 so I'm so I'm so in trouble, but it's the truth. They 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 was like, hey, this penis. That's not a donation. That is, oh my God, let me get out of hell or something, or purgatory, whatever it was. I I I I don't want to get too lost in thing, and I'm not being anti-Catholic. I'm just saying that even the Catholic Church didn't get that far off donations alone, and that's a fair argument. That's a fair argument. Donations don't make you wealthy. Did I get it? All right. The NFL is, was a 501c3 like last year or something. I don't know. Sorry. Kenneth is right. Like FUBU. FUBU did the same thing. Hey, go, go ahead, Cedric, and I'm going to get into the next phase of this. They're not making as much. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> I just want I, I just wanted to point out too. Uh, one of the, one of the it's not the number one thing, but one of the top things in business when you're doing your business. Sometimes, it, it, as long as you're good at what you do, make sure you're good at what you do. It doesn't matter the competition. People will always right. buy your product. People That's would right. always support your business. People would always seek your counsel or your advice. If we stop to think about the 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 catch point twenty, everybody is mirroring something somebody else is doing. So you have to find your niche in that. So there is a lot of clothing stores, but right. there's somebody else who says, you know what? I just came back from Indiana where my company is at right now, and I and as a clothing store down there, he says, you know what? Today, this whole weekend, I'm going to do half off on everything. So if you have on all clothes, no shoe, he says, so if the clothes, if I have a blue jean outfit that's $200, it's now $100. Right. If I have a short set that's now $100, it's now $50, half off all day, Friday and Saturday on flash everything. Sale. That's a flash and, sale. That's not lowering and, prices. That's a flash sale. Not, yeah, it's not a flash sale, but to somebody else who doesn't yeah. know the actual price of what yeah. that was, and they just looking at his price tag on them clothes, that's the big marketing move. He became good at what he does, and guess what? Now somebody else is telling yep. the other people, hang time, got half off today. So he's just increased his revenue for the following week when prices go back to regular. But as long as you're good at what you do, you're gonna you you're gonna always come out on top. It, it, it'd be a little competition here and there, and you still create your own niche and your own lane. Just be good at what you do. Uh, 
Antonio is my mentor before he's my mentor now, you know, and the Les Brown always said, mm -hmm. you know, maximize the opportunity. You just have to maximize and be good. Don't settle. Just keep going, That's you know, and, and, and be good at it. Be great at it, actually. Cedric's business spans two different country, countries, two different cities. He's government funded and government backed. He has how many employees you got? 70. Got 70 employees. And he lives where they don't even walk in the street. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, 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 know the neighborhoods, huh? They, they don't walk in the street in his neighborhood. Like, I was, <laughs> you need special access to even get in his, not, not in the in the in the neighborhood, not not the building. The neighborhood has a security, but like, you know it's a one point of entry. You know, ain't, ain't no trick or treating over there. You you, you understand? They, they don't do that over there. <laughs> okay. But to be totally transparent, the position that I've been able to be blessed and put myself in. I know I, I don't I don't have I, I worked in the field for many years as I was building my brand. And and once right. I created something that works, uh, other people bought into it. And right. now I'm able to have a house in Indianapolis and have a house in Georgia and sit at my desk in Georgia and still run a company in Indiana as I'm building my company here in Georgia and travel back once a month to do payroll. And if it just and it may not be a lot to other people, but it's a lot from where I come from, because uh, I've, I, you know, but to be able to do one point five million in a I year. Was, I was just saying he's got a multi-million dollar company. Yeah, just it, it, know. It, it's pretty, you know, <laughs> for me that I remember where it was a struggle to my, my biological mother was on food stamps. So I, you know, so to be able to come from that to where I am now and still be a, a, a great husband and a proud father. And take care of seventy people who rely on me to help them take care of their family. I think, you know, I'm in a good space. So uh, I thank God and I thank my my drive to keep going as I continue to build other multiple other businesses so I can have multiple streams of income. So I just say, be good at what you do. Come on, y'all can clap for that. Come on now, y'all. You know, don't don't ask. There, there you go. There you go. My frat you know, brother. Got, you know, I got that little inside joke. Church folk don't never know when to clap. So whenever y'all right. <laughs> whenever y'all don't clap, I know y'all church folk. That's, <laughs> There you go. 100%. We're moving to the next phase now, then Q&A. So here's what's happened. I'm going to tell you how I think. Then I'm going to tell you. In fact, let me, let me look at my little list here. I'm going to tell you, okay, this is how I think. Then I'm going to give you one, two, three, four, five, six, seven things to prep you for my seven, my, my sales process. And I'm going to give you my sales process, okay? Okay, go ahead, go ahead, Dion. Oh, well. Let me start. Well, okay. Remind me to repeat this when she get back. So na name this part of your notes. Antonio's aggressive business mindset. <clears throat> name it that. And this will make sense. I ask myself every day. Well, ask yourself first. How can I get to a hundred thousand dollars a year? You know, write that down. That's not a that's not a generality. This section is very important. How how can I get to a hundred thousand dollars a year? Now, to be honest with you, that's two hundred people paying five hundred dollars. Five hundred people paying two hundred dollars. You can do that in a day. But anyway, second question you're going to ask yourself is, how can I get to a hundred thousand dollars a month? Watch this here, Lindsay. This is where this is where I succeed where others don't. The third question is obvious. Now you can see the pattern here, Ina. How can I get to a hundred thousand dollars a week? So now we know the next two, Grace. How can I get to a hundred thousand dollars a day? And finally, how can I get to a hundred thousand dollars a minute? Oh the reason why this is important is because it changes your vehicle. The vehicle it takes to get to a hundred thousand a year does not look like the vehicle it takes to get to a hundred thousand a minute. Vehicle means so so Antonio, what's a vehicle? Remember, all these are Antonio definitions. Something you put money in 
that pushes a multiplication of money out. So right now, I have not said nothing more important now than this. I mm -hmm. forgot what, what I said last time, but that was that. that I'm building up. Can you repeat what the vehicle is again? Yes. Let me see if I can remember what I said. Something you put money in that pushes a multiplication of money out. It's, I should have said something similar to that. I know this stuff because I'm a practitioner. Because every day I get up and the universe punch me in the face and say, nah, this ain't going to work like that today. <laughs> Try again. And I get up and I say, all right, this is the day, $100 billion. Damn, ain't no $100 billion today. That plan wasn't good enough. This is, right? Mike Tyson said, everybody got a plan that you get punched in the face. Okay. So now, uh, that was my realization. I can't keep doing what I'm doing to get further. Absolutely. Now, now watch this here. Oh, Y'all know what landscaping is? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Have you, you ever seen a guy with a lawnmower? Yeah. Outstanding. The dude with a lawnmower cutting grass for $35, $50. That's a vehicle. That's a vehicle. The lawnmower is his vehicle. But what he cannot do, Dr. Ferris, is get a deal with Walmart and cut their grass. Two reasons. One, they probably got cement. Two, if they do have grass in the back, he can't cut it fast enough with one lawnmower. His vehicle is not good enough. Oh. His vehicle has to change. Okay. This is the most important. I'm getting chills just thinking about where I'm going with this. There's nothing more important than what I'm saying. Your vehicle must change. Every time you do 100, like if you follow my little aggressive little thing, that vehicle changes every step of the way how this is why some of y'all be like and tell we should do this i'd be like it's a great idea but i'm not in the client business anymore i'm not i'm trying to get 1 billion people to give me 35 dollars a day grace how much money is that a day okay 1 billion times 35 dollars say it again 1 billion times 35 dollars a day uh 1 billion people Times oh, oh, that's 35 billion. 35 billion. Cash. Do you know how attractive you automatically become with $35 billion cash? As soon as, as soon as I get $35 billion cash, my last name will be Rosenthal. <laughs> and and, 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 and my, somebody put in the private comment, Jay Z attractive. <laughs> You're doing way too much right now. Okay. <laughs> yeah, no diddy, man. No diddy. <laughs> no diddy. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I'm trying to do. All right. So understand. So, all right. So, so, all right. Well, Antonio, I'm going to fix my vehicle. I'm going to do landscaping for the airport. No problem. Just know that no matter what I'm paying you to cut the grass of the airport, it's never going to be the vehicle of the Boeing 727. <laughs> the man cutting the grass is not the man owning the airline. Those are two different vehicles. Your vehicle determines how much money you want to make. It is not until Jalen starts to want to write, produce, direct, and distribute. That he's going to get out of the situation he wants to he wants out of now. As long as he is a content creator, he's always going to get the average income of a content creator. Because that's the vehicle. The moment he becomes Jalen Hughes Studios, now he gets Tyler Perry's income. That got a ring to it. It did. Yeah. It did. It really did have a ring to it. It really did. All right, Jaylen go ahead, Trinace. Studios. Yes, Jalen Hughes Studios. Okay, so now I'm at home. Now I can talk my talk. 
Mm-hmm. So, um, because you know, we had the conversation about vehicles like last year sometimes. Yep. And as you graduate your dollar amount, how do you determine your vehicle? Because you're going to have to change it for money, for for more money. Um, because straight up, that's what we, we want. We want more money. So how do you figure out what's going to be the best vehicle now that you want to make 100000 a minute? Or is that going to be a trial and error type thing? Or is that planned? Hey, uh, white supremacy was built with trial and error. Uh, Christian church was built with trial Facts. and error. Facts. The 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 pyra- great pyramids was built in trial and error. Any good or perfect thing or bad thing ever built on planet Earth was built in trial and error. Is what I'm trying to show you. <laughs> From white supremacy to Mother Teresa, it's all been built in trial and error. So yes, trial and error is part of that conversation. I give you, I can see what you're asking. I can see the heart of what you're actually asking. Would you like me to answer that question? What I see, or would you like me to answer what you asked? Answer the answer that you know, I want you to answer because you know me. (laughs) Okay. New section of the notes. Antonio's business system. You're going to get Antonio's sales process, but now you need Antonio's business. You need Antonio's business system. I think I have a screenshot of this. Yeah. Man, if you find it, find it, bro. So you can, you can, you'll, you'll save me some time. I got you because I know I'm already thinking what you're thinking. I think. Um, I think I've seen this before. I, and it's not often y'all ask me such great questions. This one, right? Let me stop this. Let me see it. Uh, my man. Let me see. Uh, oh, okay, okay, okay. It was no. either this or the value ladder. It's the value ladder. That's what I'm looking for. The value ladder. Not on this computer, but it's I do. Not. Okay, okay. I do. Right. Okay, yeah, it's the value ladder. But good job, though, for holding these screenshots. It's the value ladder. Okay, is this? Oh, it stopped. Okay. All right. So I'll. I'll, 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 I'll... My fault. No, no, you did good. New business system. I'm, I'm going to use Dr. Ferris because I'm going to use Dr. Ferris and I'm going to use Deanna because they're both actively doing these things right now in we're going to we're going to call these two things they're the brand write all this down for me they they are the brand comma they are selling what they know comma They are using online LMS, that's learning management system, comma, and they are the entire company. That should fit like half of y'all too, by the way. Probably more than half. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, like Antonio, what happened if you are the brand though? <laughs> that's, that's, what about if you the company? Ain't nothing wrong with that, right? Ain't nothing wrong with that. That's just, that's, that's just what it is. Okay, okay, no problem, no problem, Jane. Okay, he's got a meeting to get ready for at four, so he needs to get some stuff. All right, if you fall in this category, I'm going to use Deanna and them. The first thing they want to do is they want to go all the way to their back end and get their most expensive product. And I'm not going to allow either of those two to let their expensive product be less than $10,000. It must be more than $10,000. So right now, everybody decide your price. It's up to you. You got 30 seconds to decide your price. It must, it can be, it could be 10,000, but it can't be less than. It's it's time for y'all to start rethinking what high end products are. Okay, say that one more time, please. 
Yes. The, the step one is they're going to build from the back end first. They're going to their back end and they're determining their high end product. Uh oh, careful, baby. I don't know. All right. So now what you're going to do is let me let me give let me give let me give so Dr. Ferris says he's dealing with a religious people <clears throat> somewhere around ten thousand dollars fifteen I wouldn't cap off more than that because religious people cannot stand when someone else is making money who knows what I'm talking about don't don't act like don't act like I'm not telling the truth now you know, I'm not for to give him that money. He gonna, I don't know. You don't do that. Okay, but somewhere around ten to fifteen thousand. Deanna case, you should be thinking twenty thousand. All right, then I'm just saying you should be thinking no less than twenty five thousand because oh, you, you're in the well. esoteric, you're in the esoteric. Listen, yeah, yeah, you can have yeah, Deanna can have a getaway retreat, twenty five thousand dollars tickets, seven days, twelve people max. You know, oh, this is this is high end product. Okay, Doctor Ferris, when he's doing theology, leveraging, okay, the school, the certifications, and this and this and this. Doctor Ferris can actually do. Depends if he wants to do. If he wants to be the school, the school whisperer. That's thirty thousand a pop. Give me thirty thousand. No, I'm wrong because he's in the AI now. I'm gonna make your theological school relevant for people, AI, and increase your endowments. That's every bit of thirty to forty thousand dollars. Every bit. Every bit. I wouldn't charge nothing, nothing less than that. And remember, you don't need a thousand people. You only need three clients. I can assure you, if three people a year is paying this man ninety thousand, I mean thirty thousand dollars up front, he ain't got a problem with that. <laughs> no problem with that. Ninety thousand dollars for sitting in his house slippers. No problem with that. Let me hear but put on this tie. <laughs> come see about y'all the bar from Reggie <laughs> okay all right that's the high end so this now means now once they get the real high end all their business is driven to go to that point that tell us this is Trinacious questions a good job Trinacious what that means now here Curtis is they're going to peel the, the Dr. Fair is going to take from the biggest product of his high end Deanna's going to take from the biggest product of her high end She's gonna put it up front for free. You're gonna put it up front for free. This is the see, this is the difference between people who make money and people who don't. Because that whole sell the sizzle, not the steak stuff, the internet killed that. Internet killed that. Here's, here's the problem with here's the problem that Dr. Ferris is gonna face now. When Lindsay logged on, she's not logging on for him. She's scrolling. Because she addicted, because she bored, ain't nothing to do. Somebody get on her nerves. She has some party. She got her headphones in. Y'all know what I'm talking about. I don't even, like, ooh, let me just disconnect from all these people. It's no one's scrolling the internet for Antonio Smith. So now when I get on the internet, you got to make me stop. And if you pull out something that I can learn anywhere, you can't get my money goes back to number one rule of economics. Think about everything I'm teaching y'all right now. Who would say this is unique? That this is real deal information. And, and you can use it today. Yeah. So I should pull this. So right now, this if I wanted to sell this, this would be a webinar on the front for free. For free. And then I would go to chat GPT and say, hey, 
give me 25 products coming from this. And I have all those for free. What I do now is I'm no longer paying for customers. I got rid of our biggest cost, Dr. Fair's customer acquisition cost. It's called bait. I took what you was going to pay me $30,000 for. And I threw it out there on the front end. And I gave $30,000 bait to customers I actually want. Which leads us to step. So that step one was pick the back end. Step two is put it up front for free. Which leads now, you're going to love this part. Step three, as soon as they get your product for free, the first thing Dr. Ferris needs to show them is how they can spend money with him every month. We've called a continuity program or a monthly program. Here's what happens. Remember, I got your product for free and I went, oh my God, I would have paid for this. Right? And then I see that monthly program for $99. I go, listen, if, if it's anything like this, I'm $99 is nothing. So you just gave away the ooey gooey goodness for a customer. Ain't that what they do at the mall with the little free to uh, taste this little steak? Cardone. <laughs> Man, Cardone did that because he emails me every day. Every day. And he going to email you and he going to email you. He going to email you to you. Listen, you understand? He going to email you. Grant Cardone is the number one salesperson on the planet. He going to email you. And they're going to call you. And they're going to call you. And they're going to call you. God dog it. You going to get that. You understand? Yeah, You're going to get that. Calls, but... 675,000 free people on a conference that they didn't pay for. That's 675,000 new leads. He don't need all y'all. He just needs 67,000 to convert. All right, go ahead, y'all. <laughs> what if the other stuff is psychological net down? And the, the goodie? Yeah, if it's, if you, I'm going to come back to that. Because if, if, if it's a psychological let down, you just lost the whole thing. You just you, now, can you still be successful? Yeah, because a lot of crap companies that are successful, but you have to, you're going to spend a lot of money reaching a lot of people. You know, yeah, you're going you're going you literally feeding for the bottom of the barrel <laughs> at that point. Okay, go ahead, Dion. Okay, so you know my brand. Mm -hmm. I have no. What would a monthly subscription look like what's your back end look like first okay so my back end looks like i'm about to tell you so my back end looks like three events nope no 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 no. my back end looks unless, like this is unless it's events like tony robbins and yes tony yeah. robbins has four events that are sales funnels those are sales funnels though Date with okay. Destiny is the biggest one. It's a hundred thousand dollars a ticket. Okay, so I have my two Soul Sync events, and then I have my Inno Hill re event. They need to be organized into a sales funnel. Okay, that, uh, here's what I mean by that. Uh, Y'all should be getting mad value now because we didn't slip into the Q and A's. Well, we always been in Q and A, but we definitely in Q and A now. Tony Robbins is it, it, uh, so her first conference needs to be something like ninety nine dollars a ticket. The second one needs to go up to $297 a ticket. The third one needs to go up to $9,000 a ticket. $99. What was that second price? $97. No, no. I said $99, $297. Now, of course, I'm, I'm giving you the low price because it, it could be $99 general admission, uh, VIP $197. It could be $297 general admission. And then you can have VIP 999. You can, you can do that or something like that. Okay. You, you, you get it. And then, but her last one, her last one, Lindsay, needs to look like a Grant Cardone conference. That's what the last one is. Nah, it needs to look like a, a $5,000 ticket. $4,997 is the minimum. You, you it's the, the Transforming Trauma Conference. You know, okay, and that's all right then. And that needs to be your high end, not... That transforming trauma, you need to you need to study cognitive processing therapy, and you need to focus on being on challenging thoughts. That's what cognitive processing 
cognitive anyway, I'll stop. That's what cognitive no. processing therapy is. <laughs> I need you to tell them study. study. She she's first to a mark everything. Notice every time I answer your questions now, you can it's already answered these up front. That, 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 that doesn't mean no answer. I'm just showing you how I'm tying them back to she needs to be first to a category. She can be first to a category. So you got cognitive. Cognitive processing therapy. I, I, I'll, I'll, I'll send processing. you the documents. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll give you the documents. Cognitive processing therapy. Processing. Oh, CPT. CPT. I got some books in uh, Amazon. In your particular case, you could do behavioral therapy. Actually, you know, I, you know, I maybe like merge study both. both. St study both because the reason why my class is so effective because I got both of those going on. Even in this business class, I got both of those. I gave y'all the stuff up front. And I have you cognitively going back to it. I'm doing CBT. I'm trying to I'm trying to change your behavior in this particular call. Not not necessarily your thinking, but your behavior. Okay, you get it, Diana? Yes. All right. Now let me I say a few. My, oh, that's my what my question was. Okay, I'm sorry. Go ahead. So now. When Dr. Fair, so Dr. Fair's got a front end, step one, step two, gave it away for free. Step three, you're going to see my monthly product. So when does, what's the first thing Antonio sees about Dr. Fair? Something free. And this is what I need to do. Make it easy to get access to you. It don't have to be the live version of you, just you. Is that number four? No, no, I just that was a uh, a more explaining of number two. So how do you because it sounds like you create all of this from the back because you keep saying back end, so that means the highest level. That's correct. To the front end meaning low-hanging fruit, basically, right? Let, let, let's call the front end where customers, where you get your customers. I okay. You want to do that. Okay. So how can you create your back end? Because I don't think I have any back end. I That's have an idea of what mine could look like, but I'm not sure what that looks like. That's exactly why I started you at the back end because most of y'all do not have your back end because you're like every other entrepreneur. Oh, I'm in business. I got an idea. So I can't tell you how to create your back end. You need to go. Well, what's think. the right question? What's the right question to ask you? Because then, because how you, how you do us is you let us ask a question and then you tell us how to ask the next question. So tell me how to ask the next question, Mr. Antonio T. Smith Jr. You know me well, smart lady. And let me get my glasses so I can be right. Get you. I just I just sent Lindsay a message that she looks good with glasses. It's like go go get your glasses. <laughs> All right. Her question should have been stated, Antonio. Give me five steps or similar to creating a back end. That's what she should ask me. Okay, what I should ask you? Antonio, give me five steps to create a back end. We're, give me that. To, five to, steps to create a to, back to create end. my high end product because that's what we're actually doing. Now keep in mind we're on we're we're, we're not behind because my sales process I'm a copy and paste. You y'all getting more now because you're going to get sales process plus business system today. This means that the moment this class is over, your business is completely different. You get to steal my sales process and you get to steal my business system. Do you understand how much people charge you for stuff like that? Yep. If you don't, you will. <clears throat> All right, Antonio, give me five steps to build my back end. That's Take your company and explain it in 10 words or less. This is a damn good question, Janice. Back to your two questions have Can us here. That? Yeah, take your company and explain it in 10 words or less. It cannot be more than 10 words. Is that if number can, one? Yes. Yes. So this, if you're writing notes, how to build my high-end product in five steps or less. I mean, it's five steps or similar, because I don't know if it's going to be five steps exactly. Um, 
yeah, how would I create my back end for the future clothing line? All right. I'm going to take your, so Dr. Ferris is going to take SDL. Down is going to take always becoming. And you, what you're going to do is you're going to put it in 10 words or less. If you cannot give it to me in 10 words or less, you do not know your company. This is very important. This is, this is the one time you do not give me resistance. So that's not, that's the only thing I know. That's the only thing I got for you. No, it's okay. I'm about to build on it. But watch this here. Grace, give me my company in 10 words or less. Watch this here. Um, hold on, hold on. Man, if you wouldn't ask me, I had it in my head. Hold on. Because I created it earlier today. Oh, you make you make more, you make profitable companies and people more profitable. There you go. I make profitable people and companies more profitable. That's my company. You got to give me the same thing. If you cannot do this, Kenny, you're dead in the water. Because now, now that you got this, now you're actually thinking. This is called this is called diffuse thinking. It's a it's a it's a laser. I got to get you out of this infinite wave of possibilities. I got to get you to a laser. Okay, Deanna's got her 10 where you can always use ChatGPT to help you out if you put enough information. In. That's exactly what I did. You ready? You ready? Uh, yes, yes, go ahead. Okay, so my brand definition is transforming lives through joy alignment in my core teachings and core teachings. What I do no, put in my core teachings on there. Okay, in my core teachings. Okay. That's the brand definition. Okay. What I do, empowering joyful, authentic living with creativity and growth. That's perfect. Give everybody that prompt you use. Y'all use that prompt she just did. And then you gotta now you gotta feed your company your information about, you know, she's okay. got a lot of information. She would have fed it. Um, yeah, because this comes off of I used okay. I, I made her define her core teachings a long time ago. Yeah. So I put in that whole like 15 page document. Right. Okay, so I'll I will volunteer my services. If y'all send me an in-depth definition of what you do, I will send you your stuff in 10 words so, or less. Okay, so we'll take you up on an offer. Let me teach them now how to give an in-depth definition. Yeah, let's do that now. That's going to be the next question. <laughs> Antonio, how do I do that? <laughs> so let me... Well, Antonio. Yes. Um, And I got to rush because I got a meeting in a few, but I I know you had given us this homework and I have one. Um. For my company, I create legacies with the written word. That's right. I remember that. I remember that. All right, then. So let me, so since you got to rush, let me speed this up and I'll, and I'll slow back down a little bit. And I'm, I'm trying to get us out of here on time, but whatever. And trust me, me and Dr. Ferris, time has been well spent for both of us. <laughs> been well spent for both of us. Oh, no, 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 no. Not one of these. Uh, uh. Okay, if you got your 10 words, I believe I said first thing is 10 words, okay? Uh, remind me to come back to your thing, Deanna, and teaching them how to do that thing. The second, after you get your 10 words, you're going to reduce it to a two to four word slogan. Mine is daringly superior. That's daringly superior. Two to four words. It can't be more. Than, there's no such thing as a slogan more than four words, for God's sakes. It's not a slogan. That's that's a church program thing. You know, you, you ask somebody for the church to do your graphic and they got all these words. Like, give me a logo. They got 15,000 words in logo. That's not a logo. Logos don't have words. Not many of them. All right. So now that you get that, find me your 10 words thingy, your two to four word slogan. What you've just now done is You've honed in your company to a mission statement and a vision statement. That's that's what I slick slide made you do. That's what I did. Because if I would have said, Dr. Ferris, give me a mission statement for your company, everybody would have died. Y'all would have died. And then give me the vision statement. <laughs> in fact, I remember being in college and never understanding mission statement and vision statement until Dr. Felici Sagwe, my last semester in undergrad, explained and I was like, man, why the, where the hell was you all this time? <laughs> I was like, what different? Mission is what you do 
Vision is what it looks like when you're doing it. What you do is your two to four word slogan. Your vision statement is that 10 word. I made you go backwards. Now that you have the mission statement and vision statement for your company, now I can answer Trenace's question. Did you see what I did? What was the question? How can I develop a back end? All right. If you know the vision of your company and what it's doing, Lindsay, then you know your back end can't be no trash and it and also can't not fit. That's double negative. It can't not fit your mission and your vision statement. So if my vision statement is to make profitable people more profitable, I'm not allowed to build a density six and where people can't afford it. It makes sense. It makes sense that I'm building technologies and then putting them out for $49.99. And remember, many of my prices are then structured for people in Asia Pacific to afford it. What does my price look like in rupees? What does it look like in rubles? That's Russian. I, I have to think about that. I have to think about what does it cost Lindsay? Because while $49.99 makes a lot of sense in America, not necessarily in India, unless it's for a technological project that you could then do something with. Okay, you got it? All right, watch the replay, Renee. Uh, Grace, I'm putting you in charge of giving everybody the replay or posting a replay out in the in the you just put it right in the chat. I'm never gonna email y'all. I don't feel like doing that in this 12 weeks. Everything will happen right in that 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 little line that group. Okay. I, mean, I just ain't doing that. Step three. Now that you got your mission, your vision statement, go out to your back end mentally and set your price that you're comfortable with. I need to teach you how to do this though. I just I don't want you to think about whatever your oppressor, the black man, the, the 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 green man, the aliens. Don't think about them. Okay, I just want you to think about a dollar amount, and I want you to go out so far to where it hurts. As soon as it hurts, back up. No, we we're not hypothetically doing it. Y'all doing this right now as I'm talking. I got you, Dion. I want all of you to think about a price. And I want you to go out so far. As soon as it hurts, back up. Everybody do it mentally. Go out there. And I want you to think about that price. And it's, this is your a price for a product or a total. Let's call it for a product or a program. Good question. A product or a program. It depends on you. The full, and, and the biggest price possible though. Like this would be the biggest price of your entire company. Okay, this is the biggest price in your entire company. This is so helpful for Curtis because Curtis is dealing with parents and them parents, sometimes they want to pay, sometimes they don't. And Curtis is trying to figure out how can these parents pay me on Wednesday when they ain't here in the gym? You understand? He needs to get paid during off seasons too. Curtis know what I'm talking about. <laughs> we trying to get paid when we not on the practice court or on the practice field. So he 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 needs multiple products to make this happen. Okay, so down the side. Just so tell us what your question was. Is it so when you when you say go to my back end, is my back end the final product that I want to drive everybody to? Like the end goal wanna, of listen, my entire yes. company? Yeah, the end goal of your entire company, but the biggest price in your entire company. You, here's the deal. I want you to guess this. I want you to make this without even knowing what your product is. Because oh. that, that was the question Trinace had. I don't know what my product is. If So I'm, I'm being very Aristotelian. Uh, my bad. Mm -hmm. I can still do it. This is, there's a telos. I have an end goal. I have a, I have a, there's a telos. And every time you ask me a question, I, I'm, I'm forcing y'all to look at the end and build backwards. This is what I'm doing. This is very non-Plato-y here, Platonic. 
Okay, so Deanna, to answer your question, so I've got this telos, this, this, I have this, my life is, my life is in second law of thermodynamics unraveling in entropy in disorder to some sort of end, and I'm picking that end. Do you get me? Okay, now I know that end is a price. So everybody think about your price. And I want you to go into it hurts. And you all know what I'm talking about. Every every last one of you got a voice in your head. Woo, that, that may be too much. That's right there. And then back up. And I want you to back up, Lindsay, until it no longer hurts. And that's your price. As much as I want to tell you 50 million gazillion dollars, ain't no sense in me violating your law of attraction and your beliefs. <laughs> you only going to say what you believe you can, Grace. <laughs> I want to tell you 50,000, great, 50,000. But if you're thinking 5,000, all right, then just know that it will change your audience. I promise you that. That's okay. You don't have a problem with changing your audience because it's that audience is going to be to the belief level which you can you can handle. I know Ken and 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 I mean Mike got me doing a $225,000 deal right now just so he can sell. So I know he ain't saying nothing less than $225,000. He can't be. <laughs> he can't He can't be. <laughs> he can't sell my $225,000, not his own. That's crazy. <laughs> so he's got, right? <laughs> he got to be way past that. His stuff is up there. So now that y'all got that price, I forget what step wow, you hear me the eyes on that one. Yes. <laughs> yeah. sell it for you. Why can't I sell it for myself? Wow. There you go. <laughs> there, you go. <laughs> there you go. There you go. So now that you got that price, it's time to build the product. This is where we're going to that mission statement and that vision statement. So I use Dr. Ferris real quick. Dr. Ferris mission statement is spiritual driven leadership okay that's his mission statement that's not what it looks like that's his mission statement it's, it's, it's in the name spiritual driven leadership what you do spiritual driven leadership <laughs> this is what he does this is his mission now on the back end when he this I'm, I'm gonna i'm gonna make some assumptions here and I'm, oh okay no he just posted right here SDL pioneers transformative approach of leadership, elevating individuals to embody spiritual depth, profound fulfillment, internal harmony, and unwavering eth ethical integrity. So he's not for companies. He's for individuals who have companies or are in companies. It's in his statement. He's for individuals. Everybody get it? It's in his statement. It, it's, it, it explicitly says individuals. It's in his statement. So now that we know that it's in his statement, it's individuals. So what is he walking individuals to? He's walking them to leadership, elevating individuals. So then now he has an academy inside of his academy. He's got two academies now, whether he wants them or not. I'm not sure on how to transform this to companies. I'm, you know what? You get enough individuals, you'll figure it out because they'll scream it to you. Like he won't even have to figure it out. They'll tell him. Hey, take my company's money too, right? They'll tell him, <laughs> they'll tell him how to do it. So now, in fact, that was a powerful point. If you don't know what to do something, don't do nothing. Wait till you get an audience and ask them. Don't spend money and resources that ain't nobody going to buy. This, he don't need to learn to do it for companies. They going to tell him if they even want him to do it for companies. And if they do, they're going to tell him how. It's called polling your audience. How is he doing this, Grace? Through spiritual death, profound fulfillment. Please, tell, if I say, hey, I, I want to take us through spiritual death and profound fulfillment. That's an ayahuasca. Well, I don't even know. I don't even know. Y'all probably know what the hell I'm talking about. Uh, I know what that is. Uh, yeah, 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 yes. That's a, that's a spiritual retreat. There we go. There we go. Yep, I that's, heard no doubt. That's something like Mind Valley. So Dr. Ferris has spiritual driven leadership. And then on the back end, there's another academy that's invite only. And that's where they meet him. 
The first, his first academy is all automated. That second academy, that's him live. Yeah. <laughs> All right, go ahead, Grace. And I'm, I'm, I'm gonna wrap this up and I'm gonna copy and paste. In fact, I'm gonna copy and paste my sales process right now. Okay. It, it's it's borrowed from traffic secrets and all sorts of stuff. And okay. then and then y'all just copy, I just copy and paste it into your notes. Go ahead, Grace. Okay. Uh transparency moment. Um yep. as you well know, I don't have a business and I'm doing my very best. Not to check out at this moment. So, how do I <laughs> apply this to Density Six? Well, see, the problem here say. was no doubt. I didn't the want to check out, but I was just saying I was like, okay, well, I don't have a business, but keep listening, keep listening, because this could be, this will be useful for you. You just have to find out where. I want to be first off. Good job speaking up. Let's let's do that. And then you're saying me too. I told y'all when you get overwhelmed, don't do that. I did say this. I, I did warn you. The, unfortunately, for for your mindset in this particular thing, Grace, is you thought I was talking about people with businesses. That's not what I said. I said I'm giving you a sales process and a business process, a business system. I never said this was for people with businesses. So we're going to back all the way up and. We're going to get you to rehear the conversation in a way that serves you. Cool? No. You're, not, you're, not, you're not doing it wrong. Lacey's with you and other people you're with you, right? You're not doing it wrong. Just, just, just hear me out. The number one rule of making, I mean, I'm all the way back. The number one rule, let's see the first thing I said. Success in business terms, Grace, is how fast can you sign up the next customer? No, 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 no. no. Come with me. Come stay, stay with me. Lindsay, stay with me. Everybody stay with me. Don't worry about this. Is I I am doing nothing of a correction. It's not what I'm doing. I know your brain hears something. That's not what I'm doing. Okay. I'm on a sales call. How can I apply this to density six? Grace, by signing up the next customer and then having metrics to see how fast can you sign up the next customer after that and how you can multiply density six money and keep it. Do you know how long it's going to take you to get a sale? You got one sale today, you said, yes? Yes. Okay, watch this here. Based on your last sale, now there's been a lot of stuff going on. How long goes? How long go you in between sales? This is not a bad answer. Y'all need to listen to me. There's nothing about what she's about to say is a bad answer. She spent 75% of her day training. Hold on. I got it. In my... Don't matter where I got it. Hold on. <laughs> now... I haven't said it yet, but what I'm about to say is now the most powerful thing I've said. I haven't said it yet. Because I mean, you'll, you'll see why. I have not said it yet, Cedric, but I'm about to. When you hear me say, and it's your job to know how to reduce that time, that's when I said it. March 31st. March 31st. Grace, how many? No, no, no. March 31st until what? April 10th? How many days is that? Is it are we 10 or 11? No, I'm each mic. I thought I was unmuted. 11. It takes Grace 11 days under her current travel all over the world. Grace is doing all. Grace was in Katy. Yeah, I don't know nothing about that. Grace was an hour and a half away from her house at nine o'clock at night yesterday doing motorized shutters for Density 6. She She not on the phone like she used to be. It costs Grace. Did you hear what I said? Ina, did you hear what I said? Listen to me. It cost Grace 11 days per sale. I didn't say it takes Grace. It cost her. Now watch this here. That's perfectly fine if her sale was, I don't know, $135,000. I don't care about taking me 11 days to get 135 dollars every 11 days. Okay. You understand? That would be awesome. But if the sale was $39, now watch it. Y'all ready for this? Mm -hmm. You know, if you're broke, 
everybody write, everybody write that one up in the same. This is what broke means. How long it takes you in between sales. That's what broke means. So, you know, September was me and my daughter's event. Yep. And I sold one ticket and I was so excited. Yep. And then I got like real effed up when yeah. it took a long time. I remember. <laughs> for, I remember. For, for the next sales. I remember. And then close to the end, it was like, buy, buy, but if people will just buy and buy and buy and buy. And. That so tells, with that tells being you a lot said, about your audience too. That tells you a lot about your audience. It tells you a lot about your marketing techniques. Um, yeah, because I'm working on marketing techniques yeah. right now and, and um personally, but I <laughs> actually am about to start working with somebody. That's her job. That's what she does. Fair enough. Um so with that being said, based on what you explained about grace then that situation changes how long it takes you to get from the next to the next based on the next, 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 next buyer. This is, this is correct. Grace, none of y'all have money problems. You have, it takes me this long to get to my next customer problems. You don't have money problems. Your expenses are greater than the time in between waiting. If you got, if Grace made a sale every second, she'd never have a money problem. So can you see how yeah, my Grace, uh, my budget would be met for my event if it, I it would, have, it would have been met in thirty days or less. <laughs> exactly. Listen, Grace, can you see how now, Lindsay? Can you see how now this applies if you don't have a business? Yes. So, so this, so none of this was correction. I'm just trying to get you to understand. Under no circumstance would I only talk to business folk because I don't just talk to business folk. I got individuals and business. You know, it's like, you know, like most of the, I cannot tell y'all how many, how large of my audience is white Republican. It's so hard for me to explain that to people, but a large chunk of my audience is white conservative. Republican. It makes sense. I don't make no excuses. I know what I'm talking about and I act like an old man. It makes sense. I mean, it, it makes sense when you think about it. It makes sense. I'm, I'm, the reason I brought it up because truth genuinely has no class. It has no, it has no partisan, no, no partisanship or whatever you want to call it. It's truth is just truth. It's, it's just truth, okay? All right. So, so did I back up far enough for for you you to? So everything I said now, Grace, apply that. Forget this, it's not about the business. Mm -hmm. You spend too much time in between customers. Got it. Yes. Nobody here has a money problem. You have a. It takes me too much time to get to another sale problem. And Grace, please read me. Now I'll, I'll read it. Success in business term is how fast can you sign up the next customer? Okay, so how can you adjust how fast you can? Um... And now I get to the realest thing that I said. Remember I said, I was when I, when I say this statement, Grace, it's now your job to figure out how to take that 11 days into 10 days. Okay. Then you take that 10 11. days. You get it? It's not, it's not her job to take yeah. the 11 days in the one. She now knows according to her God-given talent and her belief level, grace is 11 days per sale good. That's not good and that's not bad. That's just truth. That's why I brought up most of my audience is white Republican. That's not good. That's Well, I actually like that, but that's not good. That's just truth. You get it? Grace is 11 days good. It's her job now to go to 10 days good. But watch this, Grace. Watch me go back to the vehicles talk now. Dr. Ferris, as soon as she go from 10 days good to one day good, that vehicle she using and changed. However, she didn't change. Has changed or has not? 
has changed. Has changed. It has absolutely. To change. It has to change. <laughs> right. It has to change because uh -huh. the moment you're taking eleven days grace, and now you're at one day to make a sale, you fundamentally change something that you're doing. Texting, calling, funnels. You're getting more leads into the pipeline. That vehicle is changing. Okay, we're, we're, we're almost done, y'all. Because I got to pee anyway. Okay, <laughs> that overshare. That vehicle is changing. Yeah, you you got me, Grace. You are so so. To answer Teresa's question, okay. which is now the realest thing I said, you fix it by saying, "How can I get to ten days now?" And you start throwing wow. out trial and error. You you cannot. There is no there's no sauce to this. There's there's no secret sauce to this. This is where this is why I tell my kids this all the time. And I don't mean to treat them like, like my children. I don't mean disrespect. There's no shortcuts to greatness here. There is no formula, Cedric, for you to have the fortitude to go, I need to shorten this by one day. That's grit. That's one of the first things me and Dr. Fresh talk about on the call we just had. Hey, he, he earned what he got. You got to fight past it. You got to fight past this. Like th this section right here that you're looking for that magic formula, it don't exist. If getting up at five don't work, get up at three. What if it, what if three doesn't work? I'm I'm sorry. Yeah. You know what I'm if, saying? If, if, yeah, for yeah. real, yeah. Look, let me say y'all some. Let me say y'all some. If, if three don't work, get sales funnels that never go to sleep. Oh. <laughs> That's yeah, that. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. That would be great. <laughs> go ahead, yeah. <laughs> no, I was just saying because so Grace and Antonio know I'm working because I am attempting to be consistent okay. with Curtis, my schedule. Make sure you copy it, paste it. Actually, actually, I, I'll, I'll put my sales process down there for y'all in the lineup. Go ahead, Dan. Because I am working on being consistent with my entire day, starting with my morning routine, I have a rule where I'm down by nine, up by three. Let me tell you something. After the time change, because I, I recognize when it shifted, after the time change, that down by nine has been really hard. And at that up by three has been damn near impossible. <laughs> That's fair. I, 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 let me let me let me let me skip and, and tell you why. It's because once you're doing something good and you stop for one day, it's over. It's like, like so Dr. Ferris runs every day. There's a few times in his life he didn't stop. It's so hard to get back going than it is, it is. to keep going. Oh, that is, that's, that is such a philosophical, mathematical, every school, so of every school of thought word. Every school of thought. It is so hard to get back to working out than it is to just keep working out. It is. It's, yeah, so stop stopping. Winners, mm -hmm. stop stopping <laughs> but that's just it i didn't stop i don't the day the time changed is like the day after i'm gonna tell you time don't exist oh, i'm gonna tell never you mind. let me mute my i'm mic gonna tell dad. you if daylight <laughs> savings time has that much power over your legacy you ain't got no legacy shut what your mouth you. shut your mouth you showed the hell right all right then that's what i'm gonna tell you as if as if daylight savings time exists it's First off, we should be on a nine month ca uh, calendar, lunar calendar in the first place. But anyway, I'll let you I just want to say more. thank you for You're checking welcome. me. I appreciate it because I needed that. Thank you. So welcome. You're so welcome. Careful. So we, we so we're in and out. I'm, I'm going to skip the sales process and I'm just giving it to you in the, the, the lineup thingy. Actually, hold on. If you just allow me a couple of awkward, boring seconds of silence. It will be here in where y'all at? Right here, folder. Bam! It's in line up right now. So y'all got it. So let's let's land this plane. <laughs> let's land this plane. Grace, 
what uh I mean, we're learning it in two places. We're learning it in two places. Let's talk about y'all are broke because you you're not broke because you're broke. You're broke because it takes you too long to make money. That's so important to get that. So would you create a system in your company that allows you grace time me for five minutes? I only, only, only want to be five more minutes. You create a system in your company that allows you to project and speed up, take serious account for written down proof of how long it takes you to be great. Then you don't get offended by that. You just know, okay, this is how great I am today. That's why we practice. Some of you, some of you like, so you got like Lindsay, Ina, Noella, These three, Lin, actually probably Dr. Ferris, Lindsay, Noella, Dr. Ferris, and Eno. This is where, ladies and gentlemen, you get yourself from being like this and you let people see you because half of y'all sales is in being cute. You don't like it. You don't like to hear it. But guess what? Dr. Ferris is an attractive guy. Do more videos. What if I'm not cute enough? Nah, you know, that's, that's, fair. <laughs> right? that's a fair. That's a fair thing. Find the people who think you are. <laughs> yes. Okay. Good. Yeah, that's a good point. Good point. <laughs> Some of you are attractive and not seen. How dare you? It doesn't make any sense. You're like, how can I sell more? Guess what? Remember, Lindsay, when I'm scrolling, you got to make me stop. On the end, this is a great way to end. Can you put the five step to building that highest product in the chat? I sure hope one of y'all got it. That five steps. Six steps. Six steps. There we go. This is the greatest way to end this call. Online. Unless you go outside and go belly to belly, old school, Mike, like, you know, like you do with Brinks, like old, old school, you know what I'm saying? Unless you do that, you only got three things you can use, name, face, body. You can all, it's only three things you can sell on the internet. There ain't nothing else. You can only use three things on the internet, name, face, body anybody y'all know who les brown is yeah y'all know who donald trump is yeah who does it are, are these men physically attractive les yeah. brown was back in the 70s he's no. he's like 90 something now you understand this is anybody going oh my god donald trump you just turned me on so much melania Oh, that's uh, that's you know, okay. Fair enough. She had. But, but are, 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 are you Orange waiting? Man. I don't know. But yeah. Are Orange you waiting man. for a novel from Melania? No. Okay. Are you waiting for an intellectual patent for mm -hmm. from Melania? No. Body. She's selling body, whether you like this or not. You get it? I'm not saying that's a product. I'm saying it's what gets attention. Donald Trump name. Idris Elba, body. Name, and well, the hair. Well, <laughs> yeah. yeah okay. fair that does exactly. something for him, right? It sure does. It absolutely does. On the internet, you only have name, you only have face, you only have body. Lindsay, cute face. Ina, cute face. You must get on camera and show your face. Is what it is. That's That's not inappropriate. It's you have to make people stop scrolling. This is why Noel is trying to make me do these TikToks. Yeah. Why are you trying to me do these TikToks? You get it? Oh, right. That's what, that's what she's trying to do. Brother, people brother people think say, I... Well, go ahead. Say, uh, my brother used to say, people make it easy on the eyes. Get, you know, get things to work. There is a direct correlation, whether we want to admit it or not, between people who work out and people who are wealthy. 
I'm not saying working out makes you wealthy, but I'm saying mostly wealthy people work out. And stop. we have never, since yeah. the invention of the TV, we've only had one unattractive physical president. That's been Donald Trump. And he had to be a billionaire to pull that off. Every other president since the TV was attractive. That is very true. Wow. I used to think Bill Clinton was the sexiest man on earth. You, you, I mean, right. I, I, attractive, I guess. Well, it comes in degrees, right? Well, yeah, degrees. Uh, I, yeah. I mean, a lot of attractive for Bush Jr. Right, yeah. I, Bush Jr. wasn't that attractive, was he? Um, I mean, Bush Jr., a lot of people thought he was cute. Not yeah, attractive. cute. Okay, yeah. so senior was cuter than junior to me. You think? Yeah. Uh, but yeah. Senior yeah. was a lot cuter than junior. Junior, mm -hmm. I don't know what happened with him. Senior got, looked you like you he had finish more money on there somewhere. Senior looked like yeah, I, I mean, I had to think for Sean, Sean Connery. So, <laughs> yes, I would say you got a fetish going on there somewhere, Diana. You, you're telling on yourself. You're telling on I yourself. Mean, My bad. Sean Connery was Nixon fine. Was, now, what do you yeah, mean? He was an attractive. Yes. So, I guess we use attractive as a loaded term, but you yeah, got to yeah, be okay, good for broad. TV. Okay. Yeah, it's broad. Yeah, good, good enough for TV. Remember, we, we had, was an actor. He was a right, He was an actor. Okay. Yeah. So, we can do this. Jay Z is not handsome but since he's moneyed up he looks a little bit better well i just say the same say, thing about oprah you can say same thing for my, michael jordan <laughs> michael jordan is not as lovely as jay-z um, well just, i mean okay i didn't say they had the same level of Probably. ugly but <laughs> he was not as very handsome aged, as he's aged michael jordan looks less and less second play if you take well he got more money now than he did when he first started playing with the bulls if you take him in his prime the bald head okay and, and the chiseled body that makes sense that makes sense because that makes, that makes <laughs> because it, it couldn't have been unattractive and took over the world the way he did and right, there's got to be something this. there yeah just love this what's that if they, if they didn't have money would you pay them attention if they walked in the door if we're talking go. about attractive. I had this conversation with some colleagues and she brought up with a with a colleague and she brought up Lil Wayne and she said, Oh my God, he's just he 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 she thought he was attractive. And I said, You gotta be out of your mind. And he <laughs> said, she said, Cedric, who you? and she said, Cedric, you name a female celebrity that you have a crush on. I said, well, I'm not crushing on any of them, but here's the deal. I thought, I think Halle Berry is beautiful. This was years ago. And she said, you a wise man. And she said, Halle Berry, I said, here's the difference between Lil Wayne and Halle Berry. Without money, if they walked in this location where we are right now, I guarantee you, Halle Berry's getting attention and Lil Wayne is coming to the bar and sitting by himself ordering a beer and just looking around hoping that he think he may see somebody he got a shot with because nobody's going to be checking for Lil Wayne. Dreads, not tattoos, not, it didn't matter. Nobody, he is not that guy. And that, and pause, let me say that first, but no diddy, the day, no diddy, yeah. no diddy. Yeah, no diddy. <laughs> so let me say that, but he is not. So without money, these guys and these young ladies that we're seeing, Oh, they're attractive. Would you say that if you rolled up on them on the side and you looked in the car and your mind like, oh, she's beautiful? You wouldn't. Which yeah, which to get a ride if I, I call you 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 you, you, you put you put forth an argument that's 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 pretty solid. It 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 goes to name face body. Some of y'all, if you just show your face, your sales will go up. How are we supposed that, to do that over the phone? Because we're calling these people. Do you be like Grant Cardone's people and you do that video or you send that picture selfie follow up? You sure do. I'm proud of that. <laughs> you sure yeah. do. So in the age of AI, uh, maybe we can take advantage of it ahead of time. We can get a deep fake that makes us look a lot better. And that way we can make more money. How about that? There you go. Wow. There you go. <laughs> that sounds exactly like something that I would do. <laughs> there you go. All right, y'all. So next, it's remember what you learned this week. It's going to get big. And then we're talking about traffic next week. Well, yeah, we're going to talk about internet traffic and how to go, well, forget how to go viral, but how to get your post paid attention to. 
internet traffic and how to get your posts paid attention to. And the reason why that's important is because you're going to take what you learned today and you're going to start converting these people. And the rest of the, the rest of the nine weeks after that is all about conversion, all about conversion. Okay. All right. You can't play better. You can't dominate. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Lindsay and, and everybody. And Nina, there you go. All right, y'all. The Rainmaker showed up. Look at them. Yeah, they did. I can't mess with them. <laughs> All right, y'all. Y'all have a good one. Thank you.